You can customize your status dispositions for your agent recruitment process, groups, and contract statuses in Megaphone. On this page, you'll see some of the group counts for quick reference of how many people are in the status of meeting scheduled versus new recruit. That'll be important later to remember when we're assigning whether we want to see this count grouping for these statuses or not. Let's look first and see what we already have in the system here in Agent Status. If I want to edit this, I then go to Settings, Status Option Groups. Click Edit. I can edit or delete the groups that I have here, or I can add a new one. Let's add a new group. We'll name it Archive in the Description field. The sort order is relative to where it falls in the list of the groups, so I want this one last. I'll put it to three. I don't need to see this in the count that I was mentioning before since these are people who I'm not going to be actively working as recruits since they're in an archive. Hit Create. Whereas I didn't want the count in the archived contacts, I do want to see them in the counts for these two groups since those groupings are for agents that I'm actively recruiting. You see that I've chosen that in these two options here. Now let's go back to Settings, and this time to Status Options. Click Edit. You can edit or delete any statuses you see listed already as defaults, and you can add as many status options as you like. Click Add Status Option. Let's put this under the grouping of Archive. The description will be Not Interested. We can put that into sort order 1 for this grouping of Archive. Since this is an archived agent, I don't want to see it in the agent count, and I don't need a count sort order. Edit, add, and delete as you see fit. The only thing you should do, however, is to have new recruit be sort order 0. The reason is because then that will be the default status for any leads that come in via a landing page or any other automatic push into the system. Whatever you want your default to be, put it to a sort order of zero. Now when we go back to look at the agent status options, we see the groupings and the status options that we've created in the order that we've listed them. Let's look at contract status options. Go to Settings. Scroll down to Contract status options. Click Edit. Again, there are defaults that you can edit or delete, or you can click Add Status Option. Let's put Approved into the description, and we'll give it a sort order of 6 so that it's toward the bottom of the list. Now when I go to assign a contract to an agent, I can change its status by clicking on the blue Quicks option button, click Edit to change it to the correct status, and save your updates.